Hello everyone and welcome back to another Sunday Sunshine Show. If you're new here, I'm Maria and I'm part of the Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube. There's four of us. There's Karen, the Geordie Grandma, Marie, Busy Bee Marie and Tina from Tina's Talk Time. I will link their channels in the description box for you down below. Every Sunday, 7.30 UK time, we come to you with the Sunday Sunshine Show with a different topic every week. This week is anything to do with cleaning. So I thought I will clean, share with you, sorry, some cleaning tips and hacks that I found very useful. So hopefully you will too. So the first thing I'd like to say is we all have busy lives and I don't know about you, I don't like cleaning. So any shortcuts are very welcome. And I always think if you walk into a house if it smells nice, it smells clean, doesn't it? So that would be my first tip. Spray some fabric refresher. So I've got this one. This is the uh, Mrs. Hinch's, which one is it? It's the um, VK Vibes Edition. And this is Orange Blossom and Coastal Cypress. So I think if you walk into a house and it's got a lovely smell, it just makes it feel clean, doesn't it? So I would recommend using a fabric spray uh, regularly, spray on your sofa, your bed, sort of carpets, anywhere, just to give that nice fresh smell as somebody comes into your house, especially if you have pets. There's nothing worse than pet odour is there. So yeah, I give this a generous spray. I spray my sofa, um, my throws, my bedding with this and it gives it a nice, fresh, clean smell. So that will be my first tip. Um, the next thing, I've only just tried this when I was looking for tips and hacks and I tried this for now and I'll put a little clip of me doing this is how I got this glass this clean. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. It's very clean and shiny. And how I achieved this, I put this in a bowl of cold water and white vinegar. So normal distilled white vinegar like this, you just do a couple of drops of this, but I did a couple of big squirts as you'll see, and fill the bowl with some warm or cold water and leave your glass square in there and what that does when you take it out and dry it it gets rid of all the smears white spots everything look how shiny is this it really is i'm hoping the camera is picking it up for you to see the next tip i would have would be um i haven't got any foil but you know when you cook something um in the oven or your air fryer and you get the fat residue i don't like tipping that down my sink because i'm always worried about clogging the sink up and plus it makes the sink all greasy doesn't it so what i normally do is if i've used tinfoil over the top i would take the tinfoil off and make a little pot out of the tinfoil pour the hot fat into the tinfoil and let it set so when it all congeals and sets, you can then just wrap the top over and pop it in your bin. So that saves you having to put all that greasy fat down your sink, clogging up your sink. Um, if I'd had some tinfoil, I'd just showed you, but you, you can imagine it. Just make a little pot out of the foil if you've had it over the food in the oven. Or if not, just get a piece of foil, just a little sheet of foil, just crinkle it into a little pot. Pour the fat in there and then when it's set, just crease the top over so it's all sealed, it's all set and then just pop it in your waste bin. The next one is what I would use this for. So this is your normal everyday squeezy that you will clean your windows with. And this is a great thing for giving your carpet a good clean especially around the edges, especially if you've got pets and things. Um, I haven't got any pets with me at home anymore. And I went to the corner of my carpet because you can get right in by the skirting board and just drag it back. And you'll be amazed how much hair 
and fluff that you get and it really lifts the carpet so I think that's a really good tip instead of getting on hands and knees trying to sometimes the hoover doesn't get right into the corners does it it misses bits but this thin rubber gets right into the corner of the carpet and you could just pull it back and you'll be amazed how much fluff and hair comes off your carpet and it'd be perfect for stair treads as well my next hack is when you are cleaning your sink or your bathroom or even your oven or your hob look at the back of the product you're using most products like this flash bathroom cleaner that i use if you read the back it says that have a 10 minute settling time for it to do its business so if you just squirt it on and wipe it it hasn't had time to work so look at the back of the product you're using and most of them you can see there is a settling time so it gives it time to work so with the flash bathroom it's 10 minutes so i spray my sink and my bath i leave it for 10 minutes sometimes a little bit longer to do the job it's supposed to do and then you can rinse it off, wipe it off with ease. And it's done the job it's supposed to. So yeah, next time you use a product, don't just wipe it straight off. Look at the back. Has it got a leave time to set it down for it to do its job? And I expect it has. So that's my next tip. What else have we got? Let me have a look at my list. Yes, I think this is a brilliant one. So I say, I don't like cleaning and I expect a lot of you don't too. But we have to do it we have to have a clean home don't we so a good way of motivating yourself is to put some either put some earplugs in or listen to music or listen to a podcast or put it on the tv you know or even putting the radio on have something to take your mind off what you're doing and you'll forget about your cleaning you'll just get on with it naturally because you're listening to something completely different so that's a very good idea I always put the radio on when I'm cleaning, when I'm having a mad clean. I put the radio on and, and you are, you're listening to what's been said and the music. And it takes your mind off of the chores you are doing. And if you can delegate any of those chores, then do. You know, why should one person have to do everything? If you've got kids or a husband, you know, sit down and work out what chores, who's doing what. You know, kids nowadays are quite capable of getting up when they get to a certain age, making their beds, aren't they? You know, even just putting their bags and coats and shoes away, things like that. It all helps, doesn't it? And if you're in a house, um, I'm in the park home, so we don't have stairs anymore. But if you're downstairs and you're going upstairs, if this have a think, is there anything to take up with me? To save that extra trip of having to go back up and down each time. So if you've got some ironing you've done earlier, take it with you. Take a pile with you. You know, if, if you've got a coat that's left downstairs that needs to go back upstairs in the wardrobe, if you're going upstairs, take it with you. And the same if you're upstairs. If you're going down, you know, if you're going to put washing on later and you're upstairs in the bathroom, take that washing down with you. Put it in the washing machine ready. All about saving time, isn't it? Another thing um, I find um, very helpful is when you're cleaning the toilet, you know the rim where the water comes out, because it's always damp and moist, it tends to get black and mouldy very quickly doesn't it at the moment all my toilets and bathrooms are new because we've only been here since september but if i don't watch out it will build up very quickly so a good hack that i found and i've tried and it works for me is if you get some toilet roll spray the toilet cleaner onto the toilet roll just a little bit it's not too much you don't want to block up your toilet and push it under the rim and that's going to start keeping the cleaning stuff there and going to start working straight away. So leave it for as long as you can. Let it do its business again. And then go in and flush the toilet paper away. Um, obviously, if you put a lot there, then I would take some out and put in the bag and dispose of in your bin. OK, but as long as it's not too much, I don't want you to block up your toilet, then you can flush that toilet roll away. And it's going to stop you getting that horrible black grime underneath your toilet rim. Shower heads. They get 
if, especially if you're in a high um, high chalk area, which I seem to be, they get clogged up very quickly, don't they? So if you regularly just scale your shower head, and I'll show you how I do it, it stops that happening, stops it getting too bad. So I do this every about every three weeks, and I haven't had a build up of lime scale. So all I do is take the shower head off, and I pop it into a clear bag with a, you know, a portion of white vinegar and some water. As I say, I just I don't measure it out. I, I just put a couple of uh, big splashes in there. You'll get to know, because it's, it's quite safe white vinegar, isn't it? It's not harmful. So I pop that in there with some water. You can see how much I'm using. And I place a shower head in there. If the shower head, mine's not too bad, was really corroded with lime scale, I would pour it neat onto the shower head as well before I put it into the bag, okay? And I'd make the solution a little bit stronger. So tie it up, um, other man's got tie knots on the handles, but if not, you can put elastic band on it to keep it all secure. Leave it overnight. And then the next morning, when you take the shower head out, you, you can just give it a dry with some kitchen towel and all that lime scale will have evaporated. It's amazing, it really is. And all the mold as well goes too. And then what's left in the bag, you can use it to clean something else. So you can wipe your drain board over your sink, you know, get rid of that lime scale, use it, you know, don't throw it away, use it for something else as well. My next tip is a lint roller. So this is a rubbish one, I must admit. It's a cheap one, um, they come in a pack of three and you'll see as I'm using it, the head falls off. So. Um, I would, I think I'm going to invest in, you can get the um, like the gel ones that are, you just wash into the tap and use again. Because I find with these, the, the sticky paper ones, trying to pull off the next layer is a nightmare, isn't it? Finding that corner and that is an absolute nightmare. So I'm going to invest in one of the gel ones. But what I use this for is to go along the back of my sofa and along the arms, along my headboard, and look, I've done that this morning just on one part of my sofa. All the dust and that, you don't realise that congregates on top of your sofa, do you, at the back? So you can hoover it, and then if you still go over this, you'll be surprised how much dust and hair that still comes off of it. And if you do that regularly, it stops it discolouring because it gets in ground dust, doesn't it? So yeah, I would suggest you do that regularly. As I say, I'm going to invest in one of the long life gel ones that you can just swill under the tap because this is a waste of time. Uh, this, I think it's about 90p for three heads and the handle, but the head doesn't stay on. It just keeps falling off. And trying to sort of peel the next layer off is an absolute nightmare. Uh, my next tip is I don't like ironing. Those of you who watch my channel know I have a steamer and if I need to steam something, I will. And I don't very often, I don't need to because when I hang my clothes out, I hang them flat. I put them on the arrow and I hang them as flat as possible so they don't need ironing. But when I put my bedding on the bed, if it looks if it's been folded up in the airing cupboard for you know a little while and it's got crease marks in it, I use this Lenore crease releaser. I just spray it onto the bedding and flatten it out with my hands and it does work it really does and plus it gives it a nice smell as well makes the bedroom smell nice so yeah if you don't like ironing like me crease releaser that's your answer if not if if you have something that you know is really crease so i don't know say a pair of linen trousers or something like that you know and you, if you don't like ironing like me i love my steamer you know have a look at steamers, you know, I think they're easy, super to use. You just glide it down over the clothes in seconds, the steamer's got all the creases out for you. And you don't get any ironing marks and things like that. Because very often I'd have the iron marks sort of on garments. Do you know what? I think it must be a good six years, I think, since I've used an iron. I think it really has. And they get scaled up as well, don't they? And touch with my steamer, hasn't got any scale at the moment. I probably you know, will need doing soon. I've had it two years, I think. And I suppose I haven't used it that much, just when I was sort of, you know, going on holiday. I do take it on holiday, but I don't think I've used it on holiday. 
I take it with me just in case I get there and the items are creased. So I wouldn't like to go out and like the creased items, but I haven't had to use it. But I do use it at home now and again, especially um, mixed polar shirts. He has a lot of polar shirts. And the collars, they tend to get a bit bent, so I put it on there. And, and they're quite a thick fabric sometimes, and so they do get a little bit creased, but they, you know, the steamer works brilliantly on those. What else have I got to share with you? These dust magic magnets, dust magnets. I think these are really good. I think when you're dusting, you're moving the dust around in the room, aren't you? And it settles again. With these dust magnets, you just get it out, fluff it all up, and then you get a handle with it, which is a little bit difficult on this one to put in, I must admit, but it collects the dust for you. So when you're dusting, so you just slide that on the back like that, the dust stays on the head so you're not brushing it off into the room and you can do your lampshades your soft furnishings you can go round stuff you know if you've got time to move it and go underneath then move it obviously but if not you can go round stuff with these and you'll be surprised when you look at this after how dusty and dirty it'll be you think oh my god but yeah, I don't know if you can see, I'm, I'm doing this pot here. Um, what can you see if I did the bottom of the pictures? You just wipe it over and it collects the dust on there for you. So you're not brushing it off into the room or if you're spraying the polish onto your furniture, a lot of the dust is sitting in that polish and you're rubbing it around with the duster, aren't you? So I think these are amazing, especially for TVs and black units and glass as well. Just for removing the dust, it takes two minutes, doesn't it? You can do that a couple of times a week. Just go round and pick up the dust. And I never knew whether you should hoover then dust or dust then hoover. But reading up on it, you should always start at the top. So if you're you know, doing the whole room, so if you're in your kitchen, for instance, you start at the top, your kitchen units, and you work down. And the last thing you do is the floor. So that's something I didn't know. Otherwise, you're back and forward, aren't you? Dusting, hoovering, dusting, hoovering. You know, so yeah, the rule is start at the top and work down to the bottom. Another tip that I picked up and, and makes sense to me is when you're cleaning something, so if it's like your shower, so if I have a shower, I use the, the white vinegar. I use this, you know, in my shower as well. I've even got the spray. You can get a white vinegar spray. So after I've had my shower, I spray the inside of the shower glass. And then I get my cloth, my microfiber cloth. I just use this. And before I go like this. And you're rubbing the dirt around, aren't you? You're spreading it everywhere. What you must do is do it in an S shape, go along, round, along, round and down. Work your way down and you're taking that dirt with you. You're not rubbing it around everywhere. So when you clean your windows, the knack of getting a streak free clean window, if it's not so smeary, is to remember, get your soapy solution on there, whatever you're using. OK, and then go with your cloth in your S shape from top to bottom and then if you're going to use a squeezy again you, you do that as well from left to right and then you'll have no smears but in the first instance it's getting all that dirt off but remember a shape don't spread it all around first it makes it easier to clean so that's a few little tips I got for you today. I've enjoyed doing this video. I've learned, you know, researching that I've learned a few things myself. I've got so many more tips and hacks that I found that I want to share with you. So I think in a couple of weeks, I'm going to do another one because there's so many more things I can share with you. Uh, we like to keep our videos to about 15 minutes maximum so that you can sit and watch all four of us in an hour. You know, we don't like to sort of hog it and sort of take too long. So I really have enjoyed doing this video for you. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope I've given you some tips that you'll find useful. And as I say, I'm going to do another one very soon because I've got lots more ideas to share with you. 
So please take a look at the other ladies' channels. So you've got Tina from Tina's Talk Time, Karen, the Georgia Grandma, Marie, Busy Bee Marie, and see what hacks they've come up with or what they might even be, I don't know what they're doing. So say we all put our own spin on it and they may even be demonstrating some cleaning for you and that, you know, and have some tips. Oh, one more tip I will share with you. White vinegar is brilliant for your patio. So if you've got slab stones or pots and things that are all covered in algae and mould, put some neat white vinegar on them, spray it on there, leave it and just let it do its work. And then go back in about three or four days later and see the difference. You'll be amazed. So that's my tips for today. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye everyone.